And I not only thank you, but I congratulate you. Because all of us here are survivors. I mean, we if you if you were here tonight, whether you're a supplier, a vendor, a customer, whatever, you are surviving your business through uh, four or five of the worst years that our country's ever seen in business. In fact, I know you'd have to go back to the 30s uh, before there was anything close. And in the flooring business, I can tell you there's just never been anything quite like we've been through. But that's the bad news. The good news is I think we have seen the worst of it. Uh, we are seeing things start to improve. There's some good si signs uh, out there in the overall economy. We're not going to talk a whole lot about that tonight, but if you just look around, I mean, look at the stock market, uh, look at your 401k, all of us feel a little better when some of those funds start coming back and we feel like some of our retirement future is a little more secure. Um, if you look at companies, companies are making money now. Not, now, not necessarily those of us in the housing related industry yet, but uh, our commercial business is doing great as companies are making money and putting some of that, that back into new buildings and renovations and things like that. Consumer confidence is a little bit better. You know, it's not great, but it's, it, it has its moments. It's getting a little bit better. Those of us in the housing industry, though, there's still a lot of challenges, a lot of headwinds. Uh, there's too much inventory out there. You hear a lot of talk about foreclosures. What you don't read much about is the shadow inventory that's out there. Five million homes in America today where owners are 90 days or more behind in their payments. Uh, that are probably going to be houses that have to be turned over and sold. But another bit of good news, uh, there's still 1.1, 1.2 million new families being formed every year in America and they need a place to live. Uh, and that's going to continue on and on. And so uh, ultimately we'll catch up with the inventory and business will come back to uh, kind of the way we're all accustomed to it being and want it to be. That's one of the beautiful things about a foreign business. I remember when Mr. Buffett bought us and, uh, 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 he said, um, uh, that's what I like about floors. He said, every build I've ever seen has got one. <laughs> and that's true. And that's true for you and for me. And as long as we got the kind of things, and Guilford has them, the kind of things people want to put on their floor, we're, we're going to have a good run ahead of us when this economy comes back around and picks back up.